Evening, partner. Welcome to our humble police house. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what. I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for 50 Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck.
in. Hello, Professor. Professor. Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. <laughs> Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. of the puzzle. Come on. Thank you. 
Hey, mister. Greetings. Hi, uh, ma'am. Hello, sir. Hey, move! Excuse you. You give me a ride. Yep, yep. Let's get. Hey, partner.
Okay, boy.
I'll come with you, you son of a bitch. This is how it's gonna end. Come on. Well, I got a special treat for you. Oh, bastard! Ah! Take me to damn cork, then! This ain't America! We ain't free no more! <sighs> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail, either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Dude, that's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Oh, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you. To kill you. You mean? No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can... Pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs>
Uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hope Goddamn government cats, Paul. Take me to damn cork then! This ain't a miracle! God, we ain't free no more! Can't raise no animals, take no wives! All I did was great! <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor. Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on to kill you. Humanely. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. But as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in the animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning? Strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned. Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no sir. It was lightning. Electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I see lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> That's the fellow that took our moonshine. We're gonna get that corn with the back. You'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> uh, 
my money um money yeah for all the running around i've been doing oh well oh. once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator there'll be money enough for you sir well, let's hope all right so let's get our our um our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration oh do come and watch it'll be amazing come along